Okay, y'all. I just got off work right now. So, excuse my attire. But, I've been to the bag. But, anywho. I just want to address something. It's so... I, I, I ran across a couple of people. No. A couple of females. I won't call them women. That's just my opinion. Because I don't feel this way. But, for me. We have all struggled. Everybody that had a moment. Can't say that you haven't. Because we all have. But nowadays people are so comfortable with and not ashamed to say that they were taught as long as you got a, a little kitty, you should never be broke. Okay? I get it. To a certain degree. Because for me, the way I was raised, that the meaning of that was if you got a man in your presence or you're laying next to a man, then you shouldn't want for anything. That's what that means. That doesn't mean go out here and sell your ass for a bag of weed or a pack of chicken. Because speaking from personal experience and speaking about myself and things that I have been through, Oh, I've struggled. But I've never sold my ass for a pack of chicken. Because the first thing I hear is, oh, if my kid is hungry and I got to feed them, I'm going to go sell a trick. I mean, you know, I'm going to go trick. Or I'm going to go suck a dick. I mean, a penis or whatever you want to call it. But if your mentality says that <clears throat> you're worth you got to go sell some ass for a pack of chicken to feed your children. You're not worth much. Because I am 49 years old, y'all. And I have struggled a long time. But I've never sold my ass for a pack of chicken. Um, Never sold my ass for some weed. And it's a lot of y'all out here that think that that shit is okay. To the point where you tell your 12-year-old daughter. Well, you got a boyfriend or you, you know, you equipped with then go. Yeah. And that's why your baby blue back is blue out by 15. Now for me, I try to keep my baby as precious as long as I can. Like on some real shit. As long as I can, I'm going to keep her a child. And y'all so big on, well, they going to do it anyway, so I let them do it at home. I'm a different kind of mama, bitch. No. That's how I feel. You're not. And if I find out, I got a problem. So, to each his own. But please, stop normalizing setting your behind for a pack of chicken. Setting your behind for a bag of green. That's not what that means. That means if you are dealing with a real man, you shouldn't want for nothing. Hence, real man. So, y'all, I'm going to get on up out of here. Just had to say that. Been on my mind for a couple of days. Been going through some things, but I will get back at y'all and let y'all feel y'all in on that, too. Because, um, yeah, I had to pop off on a few bitches. I had to yoke up a few bitches about mass. Toodles.